Hello, my name's Adrian Richards. I'm a consultant plastic and cosmetic surgeon from the United Kingdom and one of the uh, specialities I concentrate on is inverted nipple correction. And now I get, I see a lot of patients for, for inverted nipples um, and I'm just going to go through some of the questions I'm often uh, asked, which I've written down here. So let's just run through them one by one. First of all, what causes them? Uh, well, no one knows. And basically it's the, the milk ducts, which uh, go between the milk glands and the nipples are too short. So typically the inversion will appear in the teenage years as the breast is developing. So as the breast gets uh, larger, the uh, nipple is sort of pulled in by the tight ducts. And the way to see whether you've got tight ducts is, is to uh, feel under your uh, nipple and if you feel a sort of a cord um, going down, uh, vertically down from the nipple, um, that's often the cause of the inversion. Next question. When will I be able to return to work driving after the operation? Well, the operation was performed under local anaesthetic. It takes approximately a quarter of an hour per side. Um, and we prefer it if you don't drive home. We prefer it if someone um, takes you uh, home and drives you to the operation. Number one, because you can be slightly nervous. And uh, if you have had uh, local anaesthetic, uh, there are some in, uh, probably you know, some implications with the car insurance. So ideally, if you could get someone to bring you, it would be ideal. Um, sport, the dressing is going to be on for a week, so we really like you probably not to do any sort of sporting activities for a couple of weeks after the surgery. And next question, um, do they recur? Well, in my experience, it's very rare. If the ducts have been divided completely, it's very rare for the uh, nipples to uh, reinvert. So the, I think the secret is to completely divide the ducts and to uh, put a temporary uh, stitch at the base of the nipple which holds the nipple uh, base uh, together and prevents recurrence. That's a temporary uh, stitch but in my experience in the last year of doing over 150 uh, inverted nipple corrections on, well, on 150 different uh, uh, ladies I haven't had any cases uh, which have recurred during that period. Um, and the uh, final question in, in this uh, section is do they uh, change with altered temperature um, and different conditions and the answer to that is really no. Once they've been uh, corrected um, they tend to stay out permanently so they're a little bit swollen straight after the operation that then settles down the nipples are permanently uh, uh, you know out they don't go in and out after they've been corrected they're permanently uh, out and for this reason we often uh, do uh, surgery on both sides to try and get them as absolutely as even as possible so that's just a selection of some of the questions I'm often asked. In the next video, I'm going to be going through some uh, further questions. I hope that's been uh, useful. And if you'd like to uh, talk to me or any advice about um, inverted nipples, please feel free to uh, contact me either via our website, which is auroraclinics.co.uk, and that's aurora-clinics.co.uk, you know, or, or by uh, uh, emailing us or by phoning us directly on 01844. 214362. Thank you for watching.